No, you don't. You do. Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp, Shannon Sharp. Woo! Boy, you done messed up big time, Shannon Sharp. I'm talking about a big mush mouth dummy. Shannon Sharp. So I speak about basketball. If you go back and listen to my first take, this is how, before I get into the roasting of Shannon Sharp, and before I get into the disrespect of Shannon Sharp, let me show you how sick and demented his mind is over his lust for LeBron James, over his fanboy nature of LeBron James. He doesn't really understand basketball because he's a football player. You know, <laughs> run across the field, catch the guy. Oh, get hit, fall. You know, he's one of those guys. He really don't understand basketball. Um, so let's recap what I actually said in my initial take of LeBron James getting swept. I'm talking about swept. Let me go back to what my initial take was because I actually understand the game of basketball, regardless of whether someone think that I play well or not. Um, so my initial take without the jokes, without the faking like I uh, um, bet on the game, without the faking like I was going to burn a jersey. I don't own a LeBron James jersey. I did not bet in the game. It's called comic relief. Something your thick tongue ass don't know nothing about. Um, but as I remember what I said, all I was talking about is you guys compare LeBron James to the greatest player that ever played the game. You guys give him the king and the goat title. So, okay, if you're going to give a guy the king and the goat title, then other people are going to examine this king and the goat title. It don't have to be hate because we don't agree with you. It don't have to be me need to be attacked because I don't agree with you. You guys have this conversation all day long. So I joined in on the conversation and what I saw was not the quote. So what I said was, if this guy is being compared to the quote and all you statisticians, all y'all talk about is how many points he got, then I would like to see a guy who's that much of a scorer because he has all the points in the world. He scores the most points, right? He has the, He's the leading scorer of the league. Kwame, there's a video of Shannon Sharp a year ago saying you were not a bust. Oh, we're going to get to that. Kwame Brown came up. And I don't think, me personally, I don't think Kwame was a failure. You don't make it to the NBA, the number one overall pick. Now, maybe he, some people say, well, he wasn't a Hall of Famer. He wasn't this or that. Salute to you. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. We're going to prove what it's about and how it's about. It's all about who we like. Because a year ago, Shannon Sharp was praising me. And I got, he was, Kwame was not that. Kwame's a good guy. Kwame, Kwame, Kwame. I say something about somebody he don't like. I ain't shit. I'm the Mount Rushmore bus. <laughs> LeBron already got a wife. So, but let's get back to the actual basketball of the situation. The actual basketball of the situation is if you're going to say this guy is the GOAT, Big tongue, laugh out loud. Only you would say that shit. <laughs> yeah, big, thick tongue, motherfucker. He ain't nothing but a breeder. Back in the day, he wouldn't have been nothing but a breeder. A uh, motherfucker that talked like this. A motherfucker that talked like that, they're only good for two things. Fighting or having sex. They breed them niggas like that. Uh, or they had them niggas out there squaring off fighting like on Django. So that's the only thing that nigga good. That's why he always so mad. He ready to get back to his breeder nature. Or fighting nature. That's all he want to do is fight. Yeah, that's all he want to do is fight. But I'll spray the shit out of his ass. All he'll see is, leave me the fuck alone, you big ape. But anyway, but let me get back to the actual nature of what I said. <laughs> let me get back to the actual, actual nature of what I said. So what I said from a basketball standpoint, uh, Sharp attacking you for talking about Braun, <laughs> WCF performance is the same thing Skip did to him about Brady 
Uh, he cried. Fans can't be analysts. Exactly. The same thing he did to me, and we're going to get to that, the same thing he brought up about me is the same thing he was upset about Skip Bayless doing to him. You would take a personal Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you, you, you just, Go ahead. you disrespect him. It's, it's just so, it, so it's you, just, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no, support him. No. Comparing him to Tom Brady, saying he wasn't as good as Brady, is what his voice squeaked and squabbled about. He ain't had none of the smoke for Skip when he disrespected him but want to challenge another black man that played the game. Salute. Yeah, but so a basketball standpoint, I did not disrespect LeBron. I said LeBron is great. And I said for as great as they say he is, and that's what triggered Shannon Sharp. For as great as they say he is, all of the great players that I've been around, play with, whatever, you can say I'm not great, whatever. But all of the all of the other people get to say this. I play with this person, so I get to talk about it. But apparently, I can't say that because I'll get to that in a minute. But they, when I talked about basketball, great players like Paul Pierce would get to the free throw line, and he would get to a spot. And he would rise up and there would be nothing guys can do about it. When you game plan for certain players, this is something that Shannon Sharp wouldn't know anything about. They have a stat, they have a stat sheet and you game plan for the best players. And they write in paragraphs about this player, which way he likes to go, which way, what, what his favorite spot is, where he likes to shoot, danger zones, where you bump them at. Um, so most players have a spot that you get to and you rise up and you go. Um, all of the great players have this. So all I said was LeBron James don't have that notable move. Me as a basketball fan, I didn't like to see him dropping his head, running over Steph Curry uh, to me, charging him to throw up a hook shot and, and get into the rim. That don't look like basketball to me. Paul Pierce would hit you one, two times, and he's, he's up in the air with it. Larry Bird, everybody that was so-called the great scorers, they had a signature move. Kareem going to put that hook on you. It was, it was nice. It was elegant. It wasn't this run everybody over in traffic. Type of BS. And this is what they want to sell to you. So they know that they can't beat what I'm saying because you could see the moves that Kobe Bryant does or, or did. God rest his soul. You could see the moves that MJ did. So this whole quote thing is I just got in the quote conversation. I kept it about basketball. I didn't disrespect nobody. Shannon has changed since he got that money. Of course he did. So I didn't disrespect LeBron. I didn't disrespect nobody. I even said he was great. But the move that he made wasn't a great move. It was nothing. I talked about the specific move. I talked about basketball. I talked about other players of the same ilk, the same caliber that they say he is. We wasn't examining me. We were talking about players that they say LeBron is up in, on this level. So if you're going to talk about Melo would have got a bucket, Exactly. And so if we're going to say that this man is on this level and all I did was come in and name other players, not myself, I named other players that were supposedly on this level and I said the moves that they would create and all of a sudden all hell break loose. Uh, now I'm a Mount Rushmore bus and all this other shit. When this very same guy was praising me a year ago, it's all about who we like. And this guy just proved it. Thank you, Shannon Sharp. This same guy was praising me, saying I wasn't a bust. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. Now I said something that he didn't like. And all of a sudden, he didn't examine what I said. He wants to invalidate me by calling me this term bust. But that's kind of confusing. 
Remember when I said they use this word bus to invalidate me as a man so that they can have regular everyday guys at a barbershop. Shannon Sharp, by all stretches of the imagination, is not a basketball player. He was a football player. Skip Bayless is not a basketball player. He blamed his coach for not making it. Um, Stephen A. Smith blamed his knee going out. He's not a basketball player. Most of the top guys who speak about basketball never play basketball. So in order for his argument to make sense, he would have to not talk about me. If you're saying I'm not good enough to talk about LeBron, then bitch ass nigga, you not good enough to talk about me. You wasn't good enough to hold my pair of socks. On that basketball court, nigga, please. You wasn't good enough to hold my socks. But you think you can talk and I can't? Nigga, what kind of drugs you on? My friend said, Bron never had an offensive bag. You can't expect him to get one. I don't agree. Just wanted to hear your thoughts. Hey, we don't have to, We all of us don't have to agree. Salute to you. But this man wants to invalidate a whole man which would wipe out the entire sports media. If I can't talk about basketball because you claim I'm a bus, because you use this word to invalidate a whole man. If this word did not invalidate a whole man, why would you bring it up? Because I might be a bus, as you say, but I still was a number one draft pick. I was an NBA player and I played with great players. And motherfucker, I was a bad motherfucker, whether you believe it or not. But I'm on that level where I can talk about what I've been around. You guys that think that you have the right to talk about sports because we can't examine what you would have done. We can't examine what you would have did, Shannon Sharp. You a big old gorilla ape looking that was catching ball. We can't examine what you did. I talk sports. You don't know shit about sports. You don't know shit about basketball. It's not about X's and O's no more. It's all about narratives, uh, agendas, and who they like. Real sports talk is dead. Thank you for keeping it uh, 100. Absolutely. That shit is some bullshit what he did. And he just exposed himself. You hoop with MJ Kobe and against Braun. If you're not qualified, who is, St is Stephen A? Who is SS? Spoke with a lot like a fan. And you, Shaq, has said the same damn thing you did. Exactly. Everybody has said the same damn thing I did. They want to invalidate me for whatever reason.